a Saturday morning and it's just busy, busy, busy. Everybody's working away. It's a short winter season, get all the boats ready for the tourist industry. Should probably kick off from around April here. But the main skill here is carpentry. Everything is wood. Cruise, Jack Sparrow and Black Pearl. Which Vulcan. one do Is this your favorite place, Michael? It is. Oh. It's a relaxed area. Best view. So what you say today? Today it's um, a bit warm. Great little breeze. But another super day in Pepia. Since Michael found this place, every single day, with Max and Leon, they are walking from our marina to the boatyard, climbing on the hill, just to watch beautiful show of nature. They are recording the view, commenting the weather and feeling great satisfaction of their daily walk. So let's move back in time and see what they see. Here we are in Fethiye, it's a nice morning. Uh, overlooking the bay here, you can see the Itzi Marina and we're next door in Yacht Classic which is the one where you can see the sails flying there drying. Yeah, this is where we are for the next four months and we've got to go and explore. Have a look what's, what, what's in the area. I believe there's a lot of ruins, a lot of interesting things and we kind of have to do that in between boat projects. So. A lot to do and um, hopefully we get the weather to do it because I'd say probably 50% of our time here is probably going to be wet. Um, you can see from looking around at Turkey, this part of Turkey is quite green but we all know what type of heat you can have here in the summer so where does that greenery come from? Obviously a lot of rainfall in the winter months and then 
water level rises and yeah that's what's keeping the trees green and so so on support but yeah that's it nice place happy to be here well it's our favorite walk rain has stopped back up to our hilltop where we can look out over Fet here we're doing the same thing again but every day we walk up here with Leon and views like this all it takes is a few clouds to move different lighting and it looks so different So calm and so peaceful and we can see the mountains in the distance, snow capped, the sun bouncing off the snow looks lovely. We're a little overcast today, a little bit um, cloudy, a little bit humid. We had a couple of squalls come through last night. It was quite a wet night last night. It actually rained from about 10 o'clock all the way through till 8 o'clock this morning. Quite heavy rain, but do you know what? I don't mind that if it's at night and the days are okay. Good morning, Fethia. Still see the snow and the peaks in the distance. Hard to believe. 10 days to Christmas. But another super day in Fethia. Today we're going to see the other side, side of the mountain. <laughs> Lovely place, good for Leon to run. He's not missing his walking anyway. Like everyone was worried if we will be on the boat, waterboat dock where he will run. We always find some way. Don't know what we will find when we cross Atlantic. But <laughs> if the dog actually enjoys swimming, that would be huge because that in itself is an exercise. Yeah. Teach him to poop in the water. <laughs> poop in the water. Just stick his bum outside the railings. <laughs> Largest natural bee day in the world. I think we can adopt him because he has a color. So oh, it no, means he has an owner. I he has an owner. owner.
I'm done for the rest of week. Now I prefer to lie down, take a turn and read the book. But those guys? I think they are immortal. They never tired. And they full of energy. Good morning, Fertia. It's cold. Colder. I'd say it's probably about 10 degrees. Uh, maybe 12 in the sun, but nothing. Still a tad warmer than Chechen. Bit of mist. Snow back on the mountains. It was a cold night, but now it's shorts and t-shirts. Yay! It's damp. A little cold. But, um two more days of this and then it's supposed to clear up again. Daily vlog here in Fethia. Uh, it's after brightening up lovely now but last night was very very cold. I'd say we're just zero degrees in the marina. Good morning Fethia. Well last night I think we were down again to zero in the night and it was very very cold. Funny enough, today has actually brightened up hugely and it's quite warm in the sun. But you can see there on the mountains in the distance, the snow and the ice. I'd say we're probably 12 to 14 degrees today compared to uh, two days ago in the night was minus three. So yeah, big fluctuations in temperature. Hopefully we're past the cold spell. Uh, it's my understanding it's the coldest winter they've had here in almost 20 years. Plus us to discover that. I uh, don't think we'll be here for another 20 years. Uh, I think we're going to go chasing the sun a little bit, so maybe next winter in Canaries, but who knows? See what way the wind takes us. Just the way it goes. Uh, overall, I think we're past the worst of winter. It's my understanding that this is going to be like sort of early December, late November, and that it'll be sort of very wet for the next two or three weeks. And then once we get on to February, it's sort of a mirror of early November where we have, okay, it might be cool in the evenings, but in the day, the high teens, and that's okay by me. Are still double figures. Pleasant enough. Max. Max. <laughs> My daily assistant who walks with me every day. You're my assistant. Who's whose assistant? Okay. We'll argue with that later. Super day here today in Fetia. Sun is absolutely beaming down. I take about 15, 16 degrees, so not bad for uh but week three in Jan. So generally temperature on the way up. Spring is approaching, you can feel it, a lot more activity in the boatyard, so uh, yeah, there'll be plenty going on there, I'll try to get some footage of that. Okay, busy shipyard, here they are launching one of the boats after completion, and because it's been such a wet winter, they're well behind on their work schedule, so there's a... Uh, even though they're still working on the top sides, space is precious, they've got to get it back in the water because there's a queue looking for spots to be lifted out. Everybody's saying it's one of the wettest winters they've had here in Fethia, so yeah, caused some problems for the locals as well. But busy, busy, busy here all the time. Fantastic workmanship here on these boats. This boat is built a solid mahogany, 450 horsepower motor in it. Chat with one of the guys uh, working on her. So he's let me know a bit about her. And they're literally sitting on a sled and they're pulled in here, block and tackle system back into the water. Primitive but effective. So yeah, a tedious process but Works for them. Now we just walked around the other side of the boat yard. You can see all these boats here waiting to go in. All lining up waiting on their turn to be hauled out. 
as you can see, a bit of a backlog. And yeah, not too long before the season starts. Probably want all these sort of all completed in the next eight to ten weeks.